your, your video. Yes, there we go. It's going to be hard for us to see the chat at this distance, too. It's fine. We're not going to be paying attention to the chat. Hello? Hello? Hold the story up. Hold the book up. <laughs> We're going to read a couple of stories tonight. I'm going to read first. Yeah, you're going to read first. Come on in. Look, all the words end with, at the end, ends with Y. Uh-huh. Hey, hon. Here we go. Huh? Relax. I am relaxed. You don't need to sit like that. Like... That's visible on camera. Like we're, our legs are visible. I might have to put this down a little bit more too. There we go. There. I'm sure we're gonna read some stories tonight. Hello. Oh, won't take us long to read the stories. So come on in, get settled. We'll let Braley read to you all. She can show you how good a reader she is. Hey? Hey up. Yep. Hmm? Those are dirty. Oh, your glasses are dirty. Where's the leg here? I barely can see the chat. Yeah, I can barely it's all see the chat. Right now. It's because it's so far away, and then we're, and it's all blurred. We got without my glasses. Well, and even I have trouble seeing it from this distance with my a little bit. There. Okay. Okay. Can all right. Start reading. Just wait. I'm gonna bring this a little bit closer. Hey, Ash. We're going to read stories tonight. You got that for this book from Chris, for Christmas? Yeah. Um, that, not much useful. Yeah, don't worry about it. Yeah, we're going to read a couple of books. Rayleigh's going to read this one, and I'm going to read this one. Called Moving Day by Robert Munch. Uh huh. Robert Munch is a. Is and Mitchell Marco. Michael. Michael Marchal. Michael Machenko. That's yes. the illustrator. So he's a well known Canadian children's author. And he's made children's books for probably at least the last 30 years, maybe, maybe 40 years. He's been writing for a long time. We've got lots of his books. I have like over 20 books. Hey, Heather. Can we start reading? Start reading? Okay. Let's start reading now. Okay. Well, we're going to show the pictures too, right? Because that's all part of the story is the illustrations. <coughs> <coughs> Moving Day by Robert Munch. On moving day, Daniel's mother and father run, were running around. Running around and putting everything in, into boxes. Her dad was yelling the moving truck. The, her dad was yelling, the moving truck is coming. The moving truck is coming. Her mom was yelling in boxes. In boxes, everything in boxes. <laughs> Show the picture. Okay. Put screen recording. Yes. 
Daniel was standing in the middle of the living room, wondering what to do. Her mother said, Daniel, don't just stand there. Do something. Pack something. Take care of the little kids. Take care of your little sister. Okay, said, said Daniel. Danielle. Danielle. Julianne. Julianne was playing in her room. In her. In her. Playing in her bedroom. Daniel. Danielle. Danielle picked her up and put her in a box with some pillows and taped it all around. <laughs> Picture. <coughs> Very good reader. Yes, you are. Her mother came by and said, Danielle, did you take care of your little sister? Definitely taking care of, said Danielle. Good. Well, do something else. Take care of your little brother. Right, said Danielle. <laughs> oh, picture. I know. Show the picture before you turn the page. I know. Pages are just really sticky. I know. It's just the paper. She went and found her brother and said, How are you doing? Christopher. Christopher. I'm doing fine, said Christopher. Good, said Danielle. She picked him up and put him in another box with some blankets. She packed those all around and taped it up. <laughs> Her mother came by and said, Oh, Danielle, you've been so quiet. You are. You being... are being so quiet and it's so nice. Have you taken care of Julian. Julianne and Cosper. Christopher. Christopher. Oh, yes, said Danielle. I've taken care of them just fine. Good, said her mother. We'll pack something else up. Go help Lauren. Lauren, yeah. Here. So Dan, so Dan, Dan, ugh. Daniel went up Danielle. to Danielle went up to Lauren's room. She pushed Lauren into a box with box of stuffed animals, covered her up with the toys, chapped all and over, and tape. Taped all over. Taped it all over. Maybe it's stop bouncing your leg and it'll stop bouncing the book so you can actually see it straight. Danielle went to her mom and said, I'm done with the learn. What should I do now? Help Rylan. Go. Help. Go help. Rylan. Rylan said mom. Said her mom. Danielle went to Rylan's room. Rylan was standing in the middle singing. Now that's useful, said Danielle. She pushed Ryan, Rylan into a box of sweaters. Rylan said all kinds of horrible things. And, da 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 and da Danielle, Danielle. Danielle. Didn't say anything. I wasn't expecting you to pick a challenging yeah. book like this. Oh, we didn't show a picture. No. 
Okay, let's continue. There's not much of it left anyways. Finally, the truck came and the movers were talking, taking out the boxes. Danielle's mother said, Danielle, you are being so quiet and all the other kids are being so quiet. You did a wonderful job with them. Where are they? In the boxes, said Danielle. I packed them in the boxes. No. Nope and taped them all up. Oh no, said her mother. We have to stop and get them out. <laughs> but her dad said, wait a minute, the moving truck is here and we can't stop, we'll get them out at the under, other end. Mm -hmm. So they jumped into the car and followed the truck down the road to the new house. <laughs> boxes out and piled them out up. Danielle's mom said and, mom and and dad looked at the boxes and said so where are they? Well said Danielle you've just got to listen. She put her ear to ear to one box and heard la 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 and she said that's Ju Julianne. Julianne, she's in there, she's singing. Her mom opened the box and Ju Julianne was fine. <laughs> <coughs> Don't bend that. Don't bend that. I'm trying not to, just gotta hold it as straight yeah. as possible. Danielle listened to another box and heard thumpy thump, thumpy thump, thumpy thump. She said, oh, that must be Christopher. He's not... He's... <laughs> kicking her dad... Kicking. He, her dad opened the box and Christopher was fine. Danielle listened to another box and heard zzzz. She said, that's Lauren. She's sleeping in a, and sleeping her mother opened the box and Lauren was fine. Danielle listened to another box and heard someone yelling, I'm going to get you. You're going to pay. And she said, that's Ryan, he, Ryland. Ryan, he mad, he's mad about something. Her father opened the box, Ryland was fine. <laughs> he looks pretty angry there, doesn't he? <laughs> And her parents had lots of time to unpack because the the little kids spent the next three days chasing Danielle, trying to put her into a box. Trying to put her into a box. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. Oh, careful. <laughs> Someone else got stuffed in a box. 
I'll go put this back. <laughs> The bouncing leg was a little distracting because it was causing her to do this with the book and then she was pausing more. That was the issue. She, she doesn't concentrate enough sometimes, so we gotta calm her down, we gotta relax. Reading is a relaxing thing, right? So as long as we relax and we work through it, you know, everything goes really good. And she is a really good reader. Like, we've worked with it the last two years. We've worked with it. She would bring home books from school two or three days a week. And she would read them to me. So, Megan says, good job, bestie. Yeah, you did good. It was a challenging book. So, well, we're going to read this one here in a bit. Thanks, Kylie. I better do both sides. I need my glasses. <laughs> she wants me to read The Gingerbread Man. Are you ready for this? You're reading your own book. <laughs> hey, Cece. Can you, can you start reading? I start reading. The gingerbread man. It's kind of hard with people. A bunch of people. Yeah. Well, I can I can see my screen better now. Here for story time? No, I want to go like this between us so we can be seen easier. Right? Then I can just flip the pages. I can read it like this and you can see it like this or you can look on the screen. But you know this book anyway. I haven't read it in a long time. I know, but you don't need to read it. I'm reading it. You can see the pages. Mr. and Mrs. Baker lived all alone. Day after day, they baked, uh, baked big gooey cakes, sweet crumbly pies, and piping hot pastries. But they had no one to share them with, and that made them very sad. Then one day, Miss Baker made a little gingerbread man to cheer them both up. He had jolly jelly buttons and a big icing smile. Dusting the flour from her hands, she popped them into the oven. But to Mr. and Mrs. Baker's surprise, when the tray came out, the gingerbread man leaped up and onto the table and began skipping through the sugar. Tee hee hee, you can't catch me, he giggled. Bless my, bless my cinnamon stars, cried Miss Baker as they chased him over pots, under pans, and all around the kitchen. But the gingerbread man was too quick for them, and he jumped right out the window. And he jumped out the window. <laughs> and he jumped out the window. 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 Scurrying along the path, the gingerbread man ran into a very hungry cow. You look tasty, mooed the cow. And what a fine and what fine jelly buttons you have. But the gingerbread man just danced and pranced, singing, Run, run as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. Can you not do that, please? Because you're giving, casting a shadow on here. I can't see. And off he ran as fast as he as fast as his gingerbread legs could carry him. 
<laughs> oh, what's the matter? Oh, I know. We'll read this, we'll interact with whoever's here, and then we'll shut down. With a great moo, the cow thundered after the gingerbread man, past the milk churns, through the barn, and around and around the haystack until, crash, the haystack tumbled over right on top of the cow. Oh, milkshakes, cried the very dizzy cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that sucks, CC. Stay safe. What? Uh, CC's uh, connection is glitching. Because they got a storm going on there. The, the storm is moving up their way. No. Um, the gingerbread man scampered up the hill. At the top was a very hungry goat. Good day, bleated the goat. I love munching thistles, but you look even better to eat. But the gingerbread man just whirled and twirled, singing, run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he zoomed, leaving a trail of gingerbread crumbs behind him. <laughs> So the goat dashed after the gingerbread man, through the thistles, over the gate, and in and out of the apple orchard, until, smash, the goat butted right into a tree, and the apples came toppling down with a thud, thud, thud. thud, thud, thud. Oh, applesauce, cried the goat, rubbing his head. <laughs> Tee hee laughed the gingerbread man as he frolicked through the meadow. There dozing in a tree was a very hungry cat. Hello, meowed the cat. You like like a perfect snack. But the gingerbread man just wiggled and giggled, singing, Run, run, as fast as you can. You can't catch me. I'm the gingerbread man. And off he whooshed, racing down the lane. <laughs> Licking her lips, the cat chased the gingerbread man around the bush, through the daisies, and toward the pond. The cat leapt up, 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 and came down, 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 splash, right in the middle of the cold, wet pond. Oh, whiskers, grumbled the very soggy cat. <laughs> As the gingerbread man ran down the hill, he began to laugh and sing. Tee hee hee, I'm having fun. I've run away from everyone. A curly-haired woman, a man in a hat, a cow and a goat, and a silly old cat. A silly old cat. But when the gingerbread man reached the riverbank, he stopped and shivered. Brr, too cold. How do I cross? I Just then a fox appeared. Hello, little gingerbread man, he grinned. Maybe I can help you. Just climb on my tail and I'll carry you across. <laughs> He's gonna get eaten. I don't know. I think. Brr, too chilly, the gingerbread man squealed as the fox paddled up, paddled up to the river. Then why don't you climb on my back? Asked the fox. Brr, too wet, squeaked the gingerbread man as the water swirled at his feet. Climb onto my head, smirked the fox, and the gingerbread man scrambled up. But the water rose higher still, so the gingerbread man climbed to the top of the fox's nose. 
Tee hee hee, they'll never catch me, he cried just as. The fox tossed the gingerbread man up, up, up in the air, and he opened his mouth wide. Snap! And that was the end of the gingerbread man. Oh dear, sighed Miss, sighed Miss Baker. What a naughty gingerbread man he was. I'm still hungry, mooed the cow. Me too, bleated the goat. Oh, so am I, said, meowed the cat. Then Mr. Baker said, let's all go and bake something else together. So they all trotted back to the bakery to mix and stir cakes and pastries and pies, but no more gingerbread men. It was a fantastic feast, and with their three new friends, Mr. and Mrs. Baker were never lonely again. The can, end. Can you read me a bedtime story? Read you a bedtime Bed. story? Yeah, I suppose I could read you a story Yay. before bedtime. Yeah, you can go ahead and fan. I don't want to be fanned, though. I'm already feeling chilly, okay? I'm sweating. Yeah, well, you can fan yourself if you want. Can you have a snack? Have a snack? Have a snack? I forgot I had to do something. Do I, tomorrow, do I go back to school? No, nope, tomorrow's Sunday. Phew! I needed to make a bracelet for my hand. Oh, okay. Did you want to start working on that tonight then? No, tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> we're on a break of for lives tomorrow, aren't we? No, we're gonna go live tomorrow afternoon. We wanna do uh -huh. transplant our plants, our house plants. Uh, okay. Maybe run to Walmart. If we have time, we'll wash the car tomorrow. If not, maybe we'll move to Monday instead. Mm -hmm. We'll see. Don't, mm -hmm. please. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Mm -hmm. I don't know, because this was shorter than I thought. I don't want to read any more books. Uh, I don't want to read any more either. Wait, I know what kind of book I can read. Well, you don't I have do. to. I do. You don't have to. I do. Want to. What I can do is I can shut off the screen, the screen capture at this point, and then just whatever. We didn't even have to start as early as we did. We could have waited until now to do it. I'll read one more book. Oh, no. You're not reading that. It's not difficult. It doesn't matter. Yes. We shouldn't even have that book anymore. Because it's a, it's a baby book? It's like the normal books. It's like the normal one. Okay, fine. You want to read that? Come read it then. It's an easy one. Like, it's already 8 o'clock, so... And it's a short one, so... Okay, well, fine. Read it. We share everything. On the very first day of daycare, when they didn't know what to do, Jeremiah said, give me that book. Amanda said, no. Jeremiah said, I'll scream. Too bad, said Amanda. Do I have a show? What? Share the pictures? Oh, share the pictures. There's the second page. So, Jer so Jeremiah screamed, ah! Show the picture. A man has stuck the book in his mouth. Boom! Jeremiah said, oh, God. 
<clears throat> the teacher came running over and said, Now look, this is daycare and daycare. We share everything. In daycare, we, we share. share. We, we share, share everything. everything. Okay, 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 said Meta and Jeremiah. Show the picture. Oh, that is a Robert Munch book. Okay, well. Jer Jeremiah built a tower of blocks. Amanda said, give me those blocks. No, said Jeremiah. Amanda said, I'm going to kick you down. Too bad, sir, said Jeremiah. Show the picture. Yeah. <laughs> He made the Eiffel Tower out of, out of uh, Lego blocks. He's French. Apparently. <laughs> so Amanda kicked the blocks. Crash! Blocks went all over. Amanda yelled, ouch, ouch, ow, ow, ouch, ouch, ow. So a picture. <laughs> the teacher came running over and said, now look, this is daycare, and daycare we share, we share everything. Okay, 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 said Amanda and Jeremiah. Then they both wanted to paint. I'm first, said Jeremiah. No, I'm first, said Amanda. So they both were... So they were both first, and paint went all over the room. Show the picture. The teacher and the kids all said, now look, this is daycare. In daycare, we share. We share everything. Share, said Amanda. Let's share our shoes. Okay, said Jeremiah. <laughs> Let's share our shirts and pants, said Jeremiah. Okay, said Amanda. Ah, yelled the teacher. You shared your clothes. <laughs> And all the kids said, now look, this is daycare. In daycare, we share dot, dot, dot. We share everything. <laughs> the end. That's a silly story. I knew it was... It wasn't that short. It was kind of, but this is my favorite book of every single one. I want to read another. <laughs> How late is it? Why shouldn't she read a book, Harrison? I like reading books. I have a whole full book. <coughs> book huh can you read this one yeah fine go ahead oh so wait a minute no that was pretty long that was a little harder one it's like a comic well no it, it's still got lots of words you know let's just try it it's already 10 after 9 braids by robert much there's lots of words. On Saturday, when Ashley was sitting at breakfast t at the breakfast table, her mother came in 
and said, look at your hair. It's a mess. It needs a few braids. A few, yelled Ashley. You always put a million braids in and you pull on my hair it, and it hurts and it takes all day. No, no, no. My hair is okay just to just go in, out and play. Yeah, her hair's actually really messy. Mm -hmm. <coughs> <clears throat> then Ashley ran, a, ran around the house screaming, ah, 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 while her mother tried to catch her. After they had gone around the house 17 times, Ashley's mother caught her and sat her down in on a chair and started to braid her hair. Mm-hmm. It took two hours because Ashley's mom braided her hair back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And up and down and up and down and up and down and round and round and round and round and round. <coughs> you didn't show a picture. I mean, that's what takes the time, too, is how the... Showing the pictures. Well, that's the reason I read the way I did. And this is a longer book. This is still a longer book. This is still a longer book. Oh. So, I don't... I don't want to be sitting here until 8.30, waiting, waiting for you when to read. When she was done, Ashley looked in the mirror and said, Oh, look, it's beautiful. It's wonderful. Wonderful. And it took forever. I wish you didn't like to braid my hair. I can't. I'll just keep on this thing on. Okay. Well, you gotta lean my way in order to be visible. You gotta sit my way. Hmm. No, no, not back here. This way. No. Don't look at the camera. Look at, my, work at where I'm pointing physically. You gotta be this way. Yes. Because remember, I have it mirrored, so. It's weird. As she went outside and sat down on the front steps, people came by and said, Hey, Ashley, nice hair. And Ashley didn't say anything. When Ashley's grandmother came by and said, Ashley, what wonderful braids. Why did? Why are you so mad? Picture. It's, it, it's that mother of mine, said Ashley. She likes to braid my hair, and it takes all day. Some kids go to the mall. Some kids play games. I just get my hair braided. Do you know, said her grandmother, why your mother likes to braid like that? No, said Ashley. She learned it from me said her grandmother. When your mom was a little girl, I used to braid her hair all the time. It took all day. How come you don't braid her hair now? said Ashley. Can't catch her, said her grandmother. Maybe both of us could catch her, said Ashley. Good idea, said her grandmother. So they went into the house, and Ashley's grandmother said, Ashley's said, said to, to Ashley's mo mother, look at your hair. It needs some braids. I like this picture. <laughs> No, no, no! Yelled Ashley's mom. I'm, a, I'm grown up now. I, 
and I have important things to do. No, 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 no. Ashley's grandmother said, now come on, sweet pea. I'm going to braid your hair. Ashley's mom ran around the house screaming, ah, 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 while Ashley and her grandmother tried to, to catch her. They chased Ashley's mother around the house 17 times until they finally caught her. And they sat her. Then they. Then they sat her in a chair and braided her hair for three hours. It took three hours because they braided her back and forth, but because they braided her hair back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down and up and down and up and down and around and around and around and around and around. It's just round and round and round and round and round. Round and round and round and round and round. Pictures. I keep on forgetting. <laughs> there we go. One second. Ooh, I like this page. It's a oh, cool. Color. Yeah. When they were done, Ashley's mother looked in the mirror and said, Oh, look. It's beautiful. It's wonderful. But it took forever. I wish you didn't like to braid my hair. Picture. I should be showing the picture before. <clears throat> Doesn't really matter. When Ashley and her mother sat on the front steps, Ashley's teacher came by and said, My, what lovely braids. I wish I had hair like that. Let's get her, said Ashley. Get who, said the teacher, get you, said Ashley. You're going, we're going to braid your hair. And it will take all day. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Look at the dog. Yeah. Uh. Oh, Look careful. at the dog. <laughs> Does Brandon catch the dog? Yeah. the teacher she ran down the street and Ashley and her mom and her grandmother and all the neighbors ran after her they chased the teacher around the block 17 times until Ashley finally caught her cut finally caught her then they sat her on a mailbox and braided her hair I want to show you the picture. <laughs> but to you... It's a different illustrator than usual for Robert Munch. You see the cat and the dog <laughs> right there. It's so funny. <laughs> It took six hours because it, they, because they braided it back and forth and back and forth and back and forth and up and down and up and down and up and down and around and around and around. Round and round and round, not around. Round, around, around. Yeah. Picture. <laughs> Wait, what's it? <laughs> the dog's hiding. Dog's hiding someplace. Can you see the dog hiding? Where is he? He's in the mailbox. <laughs> and the cat's trying to get him. Okay, watch it. You're, you're uh -huh. leaning against the table and it's bumping my skin. <gasps> Funny hair. 
When they were done, the teacher had a thousand little braids in her hair. She looked so, sort of like a pop porcupine. Looks nice, said Ashley's grandmother. Looks great, says Ashley's mother. Well, said Ashley's teacher. I'm going to wear these braids to school. <laughs> Look how ugly she looks. Not the mom, but the teacher. And, and look. It's mirrored. I hate it. What? The, the, the camera. No, I switched it. It isn't mirrored? No, yeah. I switched it before we even started. I know. I know it is. And Ashley dis decided not to tell her teacher that sometimes people just do not look good in braids. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yay! I read three books. You read one book. Well, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. It took us less time to do it this time. Yay. So. Was that a fun story? That's a fun story. Uh, I like this story. Yeah, she loves reading. I she's love reading. she's really a good reader. Another book just for you to read. Yeah, for, I'll read later, but yeah, not right for now. Later. Yeah. Yeah, because we're gonna shut this down right now. I want to pick out a book for you to read for bedtime. So for anybody who hasn't, uh, who's jumped in here late, I'm going to repost this live, this last 40 minutes, to my uh, YouTube channel on Monday. My YouTube channel is Stacy Links Presents. Uh, I love the image on the, on this camera like this. Fun says, thanks for a good time. Yeah, she's definitely a strong reader for, for eight years old. I remember when my son was eight years old, I was struggling to help him read. And this has been reading for the last two years. So, yeah, definitely, definitely doing good. Have we read something good? Have you read something good before? Ugh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Robert Munch. Oh, the Robert Munch story? I don't think I have. Something good. I haven't even read this. It's a, it's an older one. I right? haven't even read this. I know. I got it and never read it. Yeah, we'll have to read that later. Later. We're not gonna time. we're not gonna read anymore. Yeah, we've already Yeah, been, no more no more books. We've been on for forty minutes here and we got it. Pretty good live stream. I'm going to repost this with all the comments here. So any hateful comments will be posted. Yeah, we've had a few trolls in here. I've no, noticed, no, no hateful comments. I've noticed Megan blocking some. So, Robert Munch is awesome. I, I, like, I loved Robert Munch when I was a kid. I love Robert Munch. So, he's like, been writing I for... Have, I have like 20, 23 books. Uh, not quite a few. Yep. Old times. I have two sand castle contests. Yeah, you got two. Um, one from Santa. I got two from Santa. Both of them, wait, no. One you got for me, the mm -hmm. other one Santa got for me. Yeah. When I was still at first years. Mm -hmm. Another Laugh Out Loud book from a. The author of The Paper Bag Princess. Paper Bag Princess. I love Paper Bag Princess. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So. Who loves Paper Bag Princess? The book. It's really good. Well, uh, Robert Munch is Canadian, so anybody who's oh. Canadian would be familiar, but he doesn't publish his books in the U.S. Oh. Yeah. So, so Megan doesn't know. No. Yes. Yes. Okay, can we end it? Yeah, we're gonna end it now here. Mm. All right. Thanks for watching, everybody. Like I said, I've uh, I've uh, got a screen capture mm. with all the comments here for tonight, and I'll be reposting this. I guess it'll be forty-five minutes by the time I end it.
I'm going to be reposting this 45 minute live stream to my YouTube channel on Monday. Stacy Links presents. Whatever time it is. Like, whatever. Well, it doesn't matter. It doesn't yeah, matter. Anyways. It doesn't matter. So. Okay, let's end it. Yeah, quit, 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 okay? Because it's right up against my ring stand and it's causing my phone to move. Vibrate. Okay. Okay? But yeah, we're going to shut her down right away. Bye. Bye bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Bye. If there's any trolls, we're kicking you. Oh, there's 16 people in here right now. So, like, no one. Not really, no. All right, well, thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. And then Megan can call us right away here. Bye. i got to plug my phone in for a bit anyways, but. All right, have a good night, everybody. Have a good night. Good night.